What's going on, New Release Wednesday people? It's Matthew James coming back in front of the camera again just to go here to New York Comic Con and interview some of my favorite people on the internet currently. It's a ton of the people from the Rocket Jump Film School. Here we have Asham, Lauren, Ashley, and Anthony, all from Rocket Jump Film School and Rocket Jump itself, obviously, but I'm obviously a huge fan of everything they do over at Rocket Jump and especially Rocket Jump Film School as a filmmaker myself. Uh, or at least trying to. I made my first film very recently and like obviously a ton of the credit goes to you guys for putting out a ton of great information. So, you know, I'm very appreciative of it, you know, and uh, I just like to hear, you know, a little bit about like what each of you guys does from at Rocket Jump and, um, you know, what they can uh, what they can expect in the future from Rocket Jump. So uh, let's, we can start with you, Asham. Cool. Is that all of it? All right. Uh, I'm Ashim, a producer at Rocket Jump, We're currently working on uh, our show, uh, Rocket Jump the Show, which will be on Hulu this December. Um, working on this has been taking up my life, so that's really all I'm focused on right now. Is really excited to show it to everybody and have everyone see it, so uh, it's still coming together, but it's going to be great. Uh, I'm Lauren. I am one of the cinematographers on Rocket Jump the Show that's coming out later. Um, and then I'm also the dean of the Rocket Jump Film School. So I'm putting out a lot of, with my team, Cherish and Joey, we're putting out a lot of um, educational tutorials and filmmaking tutorials. And hopefully they're fun and, and entertaining. And Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> Um, I'm Ashley. Uh, I mostly work on Rocket Jump the Show. Uh, I was a writer on it. Uh, I act in a few of the shorts and I directed um, one of the shorts that we showed here today and uh, Lauren was my DP and she's the dopest. Um, Anthony, I was head writer on Rocket Jump the Show. Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> so today here at the New York Comic Con we had the Rocket Jump panel and we got to see one of the greatest shorts I've seen out of Rocket Jump. Ton of fun, ton of action, great cinematography, great writing, great acting, uh, great everything all around. It was really incredibly fun. I feel bad for everyone who hasn't gotten to see it yet, uh, who wasn't here at the panel. But can we just get a little, you know, a little bit of details from each of you, you know, about uh, what you had to do with the project? Uh, well, I produced the short uh, along with the others, so it was uh, it was a great challenge. Uh, we had a lot of a lot of fun stuff to do in a crazy amount of time and these people put it off like it was crazy and we did in two days we did what should have been done in a week uh, and we, we asked a lot of them but you know they came through as people saw today and as they will see when it's out um, I loved shooting this short especially with Ashley it was super fun um, I got to light the interior of a spaceship which was super dream come true and but it's like one of those sets that everyone in LA uses so it was like I had to make sure it looked unique and interesting and kind of dark and and foreboding um, and then also to make these characters interesting and not have all these different colors and and um, somewhat somewhat light the in inside of the TARDIS which I was really excited about I was like put some put some greenish gold in there and yeah so um, uh, getting over a hundred setups done in one day for all the action stuff was super, super tough, super fun, super rewarding. Um, first time shooting a lightsaber fight and hopefully not the last time, but like no just, oh yeah, did it. <laughs> checklist. Good. DP checklist. Yep, done. Retiring tomorrow. Here we go. One -oh. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't retire. <laughs> Um, Come out of retirement for you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Directing fan fiction was one of the most incredible experiences of my life, probably. Um, yeah. It was. It was super. It was run and gun. It was super fast. Uh, but it was so rewarding. And our cast and our crew, man, I just like don't know how we would have done it without them. Just the best people working for us. Um, and yeah, it was such a rewarding experience. Uh, it was my first time directing, actually. So uh, I was a. A, me a mentee of Matt and Freddie basically uh, throughout the process and I learned so much uh, and I kind of caught the bug so yeah. hopefully we'll get to we'll get okay. to do it again it yeah shoot. yeah it was Good an awesome job. shoot oh thanks <laughs> I, I wrote it and it was fun to write and I didn't write it I co-wrote it with Ashley and Darnell Murphy and Mike Simons and Matt Arnold so and Ben Waller, and ben Waller. It was a team effort. We enjoyed it. We like what this short says about uh, fan fandom and sexuality. Both uh, has nice things to say. I think about both. Oh, that's good. Just get where you're <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. That's perfect. So, just one quick last question: What is the 
most challenging and the most rewarding things you guys have done just at, at Rocket Jump so far? Uh, I think this show as a whole has been the most rewarding right. process for me. Obviously, when it's done, it'll be, it will be then rewarding. Right now, it's still just a lot of work. Um, but the biggest challenge for me, I think, was uh, just because of the things that uh, that uh, Matt and Freddie throw our way to do. It's like, oh, yeah, just flip a bus. Yeah, just race horses. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, sure. Okay, we'll do that. That's fine. Uh, so it's usually a lot of stuff like that. But when we flipped that bus, for me, that was one of my most rewarding, like, okay, we did that. We can do anything. Yeah, yeah. We're fine now. Yeah. Goodbye. Sure. So that was my moment, I think. Um, most challenging thing uh, was, I think, doing double duty where I was both starting the film school with Joey and Cherish and DPing two of the shorts, two of the eight shorts um, at the same time and splitting my attention and, and making sure that I'm doing well in, in, in both areas. But like Rocket Jump is such a supportive, awesome environment that like... Joey and Cherish like knocked it out of the park and kept the film school like on just going like they ran that film school for like the month that I was MIA uh, and just and then I got to really stretch my skills as a DP on the show and have fun and work with some really cool people Dom and Justin I have to thank because they are the best script team and then I had a really cool camera team I had Alicia um, and Joe and Nina and they are just super cool. Just, it was just great. I felt supported the entire time. So, um, yeah, it was a challenge, but it was really good. It's good. Yeah, fan friction is definitely like the most rewarding and the most challenging thing that I've done at Rocket Jump for sure. It, like we said, it was insane the amount of setups that we did in two days. I literally, this is actually from the shoot. Uh, this is the bridge of Sherlock's violin. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the most remarkable experiences I've ever had. Um, and it was super hard and I was very stressed out and, and very nervous that I wasn't going to be able to do it, but we got through it and it turned out awesome. And so it was, it was very life affirming. That's, uh, yeah, very special place in my heart, fan fiction. Uh, writing a short, writing, helping to write a silent film was probably the hardest thing. Uh, most rewarding thing was probably seeing Ashley be so happy about fan fiction, to be honest. Aww. Shut up. Well. Thank you guys so much for sitting down with us here at the New Release Wednesday show. For Asham, Lauren, Ashley, and Anthony, thank you guys so much for being on the show. I, myself, am very appreciative, and everyone here watching is very appreciative, too.